Death, violence, and mayhem are all key components of major events that helped shape the history of the Old West. Here are eight of those events that loom large in the record of that famous period of American history. The Alamo and Davy Crockett are inexorably linked as a part of Texas and Western history. Crockett was a well-known national figure prior to fighting and dying at the Alamo, but his legacy became even more wildly famous as a result of his willingness to fight and die for the independence movement in Texas. He is revered as a hero by Tennesseans and Texans in particular, and indeed all Americans of those times and throughout history since then. On October 26, 1881, the famous gun battle between the notorious band of criminals known as the Cowboys and the three Earp brothers and Doc Holliday took place in Tombstone, Arizona. A feud had been brewing between the two factions and a shootout became inevitable. The confrontation lasted only around 30 seconds and when it was over, three members of the Cowboys were dead, and Virgil and Morgan Earp were wounded. Wyatt Earp, the most famous of the Earp brothers, was unscathed. Shortly thereafter, Morgan Earp was bushwhacked and killed, and Wyatt Earp cemented his name in history when he perpetrated a vendetta and got revenge for Morgan's death. John Wesley Hardin was the most prolific killer in the Old West, far outdistancing his two contemporary outlaw killers, Jesse James and Billy the Kid. He obtained much less notoriety than those other two, primarily because he was not glamorized nearly as much by newspapers and dime novelists. Hardin began his life as a cold-blooded killer at the age of 14. He once shot an Indian, quote, for practice, unquote, and another man for snoring. He was eventually caught and tried for his murderous deeds and spent 17 years in prison, only to be shot on August 19, 1895, from behind by law officer John Selman, Jr. while playing dice in a saloon. His autobiography remains a classic, and John Wayne played a character loosely based on his life in the film The Shootist. You hold it right there. Just throw me your wallet. Yes, sir. A little something extra. <laughs> General Custer, who finished last in his class at West Point, was nonetheless brave, determined, lucky, flamboyant, and a fierce self-promoter. He honed his fighting skills in the American Civil War and considered going into politics, but instead stayed in the Army to become even more famous as an Indian fighter. Custer's luck ran out on June 25, 1878, when his badly outnumbered cavalry troops were annihilated in Montana along the Little Bighorn River. The battle was short and decisive as the formidable force of Native Americans made quick work of their enemy, ending the life of the famous Army General. The surprising death of the larger-than-life military leader galvanized the American public in a call for subduing the Plains Indians at all costs. That public decry started the rapid downfall 
of free-roaming Native Americans in the western United States. William Bonney, more commonly known as Billy the Kid, lived a short life but became one of the more famous outlaws of the Old West. He became entangled in a range war in New Mexico known as the Lincoln County War, and when he killed the sheriff of Lincoln County, his days became numbered. Billy died on July 14, 1881, at 21 years of age, at the hand of famous OS lawman Pat Garrett, who was after the $500 reward for Billy's capture or death. Only one photo exists of the young outlaw, but he grew famous over the years due to dime novels and films. Jesse James, his brother Frank, and four brothers named Younger were all a part of a gang that robbed banks and killed people for several years. Jesse was the most hard-nosed of the gang members and possessed a quick trigger finger. An attempted bank robbery in Northfield, Minnesota proved to be disastrous for the outlaw gang. The botched robbery forced them into hiding in their native Missouri. The governor of Missouri offered a $10,000 bounty for Jesse, who was hiding in St. Joseph under an alias. A one-time gang member, Robert Ford, was living with Jesse and being an opportunist wanting the reward money, shot Jesse from behind in his house on April 3, 1882. Ford was portrayed as a coward, which speaks volumes for the Old West reputation where bravery and guile, no matter how misplaced, was admired. Wild Bill Hickok was one of the more famous Old West lawmen. Many historians believe that he really didn't earn much of his larger-than-life reputation, but rather was the product of publications back east that inflated the events of his life. Nevertheless, he was a famous gunfighter who was feared by most men. He tragically shot one of his own deputies by mistake, and his life spiraled downwardly after that event. Wild Bill met a tragic ending to his life when he was shot from behind twice in the head by fellow gambler Jack McCall. Butch Cassidy was the leader of the Wild Bunch, the last famous outlaw gang of the Old West era. A member of the gang was nicknamed the Sundance Kid, and there was a famous movie released in September of 1969 about the two desperados. After committing many bank, train, and mining payroll robberies, Butch and Sundance had to migrate to South America to avoid capture and incarceration in America. While in South America, they went back to their old habits of outlaw behavior and eventually, after a silver mine payroll robbery, were killed in a shootout with authorities in Bolivia on November 7, 1908. Most historians believe that they committed suicide as an alternative to being captured and probable imprisonment in Bolivia. And so ended the violent era of outlaws and heroes of the Old West. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, click on the bell for notification of future videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching.